Hello everyone. Uh, so today's topic is of Jenkins is to create a Windows agent or slave. So um, let's uh, understand what a slave or agent is. A slave or agent is nothing but a jar which is uh, placed in the remote Windows, Linux or Mac machine and with the help of Jenkins server it connects uh, uh, with the help of the slave that jar we are placing in the uh, uh, remote Windows, Mac or, or Linux machine it connects to the Jenkins server and uh, helps us to uh, execute certain tasks uh, on the remote machine from Jenkins job so let's see how we will do that so today we will uh, in this tutorial we will get to know how to do that via a java web start method the prerequisites of this are like you should have already uh, Jenkins server installed and you should be the logged in user having all admin rights so coming to our Jenkins server I have logged in I am the admin Amrit so let's go to uh, go ahead and create uh, a slave or an agent uh, for uh, for our case I don't have windows machine so I'll use my same machine uh, for uh, for the, uh, the creation of windows slave so let's see first here so if we can see there is no such agent or any other thing visible which once we create we'll be able to see here slave or agent specified so by default Jenkins has a master slave master slave means uh, uh, where the Jenkins server is running uh, if any of the job we, if we run and we didn't mention any uh, node or agent uh, to which it should run on uh, then uh, by default it runs on the master uh, 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 on the master node that is uh, the Jenkins server where Jenkins server is running so let's go to manage Jenkins here we are creating a windows uh, slave or, uh, uh, or a windows agent so let's go further down to the portion where we can create so here click on new node yeah you can give uh, the node of the name as anything for our case I'll give windows one agent okay so let me explain the few sections uh, the form which we need to fill here so name is already we have filled here Uh, now description why do you uh, uh, why are you creating this slave agent uh, it is it is not a must like we need to uh, to have the description but it is better so that we can understand later why did we create the slave or agent okay ha hash of executor means how many uh, jobs can be executed on that machine uh, on a uh, at a time so if uh, by default it is one that means on the remote windows machine uh, for which we are creating the agent or slave only one job can run at a time on on the using this uh, agent so remote root directory this is the directory which uh, the junkies need some specified directory uh, for its purpose so we can mention here despite the directory now label <coughs> what does label mean here label is similar to group in unix or linux uh, where <coughs> a set of uh, users belong to a particular group so uh, here we mention the group as windows so if i create two three more slaves having uh, having the same uh, two three more slaves having this uh, having different configurations and tag it with uh, this windows label that is name then it will be like all the two three slaves are uh, coming under the label windows so that when we execute some job and when we specified in the labels windows it can take up any agent and run on that uh, particular uh, remote windows machine uh, don't worry if you still didn't get it I'll, when I while creating job I'll uh, make, make you make it better uh, for understanding purpose so let's go to usage usage is like how um, there are two options use this node as much as possible it is just simple English you can understand that only builds uh, jobs with uh, specific label expressions matching this node so uh, um, launch in launch method uh, today we are uh, using launch agent via java web start only so keep added as it is you can then check availability keep this agent online as much as possible 
so there are three options in this so it is pretty clear with in, in simple english it is written so you can understand it coming to the node properties node properties is if if you check the node uh, environment vari variables uh, box checkbox so here you can define the variables and its value which will be taken at runtime when the slave is running and it will initialize this vari variables so instead of um, uh, setting in your etc profile the variables you can set here so that jenkins while using the agent can initialize the variables so like i can set up java underscore home i can give the path uh, c drive something something some path you can give then you can set your tfs home and you can give the value so th these things will be initialized at runtime now coming to the tools location tools location is where which uh, version of git or ant or maven or such tools you need to use uh, you can define it in the in the tools location here so uh, you can mention the path here so uh, uh, while running uh, it will take uh, these uh, very uh, initialize these two locations from uh, this part so let's go ahead and let's uncheck this for making it simple and save it now we can see this is our master which is by default now we can see a cross sign here because this our remote uh, this this agent is still not connected so let's connect it so just uh, we need to download the slave.jar which will connect with our jenkins server from remote machine so log into your uh, to your uh, remote server using uh, I am using remote login mstsc or vnc or any other way and then just go to this url once you are here just download the slave.jar just click on it and it will download so it has downloaded the slave.jar here just copy it and paste it to some other location uh, where you uh, where uh, it should be only for jenkins to run this slave.jar so I, all, I have already created the uh, location for myself. You can also create it for yourself in the remote machine. So, so we can see the uh, slave.jar and it is having it is of three, uh, 703 KB. So just go to this location and copy the command java minus jar JNP, jnlp url everything just copy it exactly and paste it here and just press enter yeah now we can see the connected uh, message displayed here so let's refresh the page and it will show us connected yeah see we can see the agent is connected now we'll just go to the nodes and we can see master node is there remote windows machine is there so now let's create a job which will run this uh, particular node which we created just create a job with some name so i am giving here some meaningful name because i am just creating this sample job uh, which is running on, which will run on the remote machine windows 1 execute windows batch command here you can just print hello for now executing on remote windows machine yeah uh, just come down to this section and click this checkbox so this checkbox restrict where this project can be run this is the one where we need to define the label uh, we, we need to give the label name or uh, the uh, jenkins agent name so let me explain you So we can give this name agent. So this means uh, this label means uh, here we have, we have given the uh, agent name which we created. Just save it, and when when you run the build, it will go to the remote machine. See, we can see it is building here. Let's go to the logs. 
see we can see the console output it started by the user building remotely on uh, building remotely on this is our agent or the um, uh, slave agent which we created and it it has gone to the workspace uh, you remember did we we mentioned the let me show you so this is the remote root directory we have mentioned c jenkins so it has gone to the works uh, c jenkins and it has created the workspace on the remote machine the workspace and this is our job name same to this and it has just printed hello executing uh, on remote uh, windows machine and this is success so this is using the agent or the agent or slave name now let's see here we mentioned the label uh, which i told you like it's similar to group so if we uh, if we mention in the job as windows let's see what it will do windows yeah save it yeah run it again and we see our job is success console output so here we see again it has run on this machine but we mentioned if you if you remember we just mentioned windows as the label so what uh, uh, because in the label we have only one uh, uh, machine mentioned so it has picked this machine if we have n number of machines 2 3 4 machines randomly it would have picked any one so that's the use of labels windows thank you our so our, our tutorial is complete for today